I'm really, I'm gonna do well. <laughs> Take us through that race and what your strategy was for tonight. So I knew I was in a uh, 333 shape. Uh, like I've been, I had the the best workouts of my life the last couple, and I knew I was in superb shape. Everything was going really well, and I was like, hey, maybe we should just go for time. And my coach was like, no, let's just go for the win. And so I was like, okay. And I was seeing, I got in right where I wanted, right behind the leader, Sam Parsons, and the pace felt very pedestrian. And I was like, all right, this is amazing. I was like, I, I got really good clothes. And I just like got impatient, took the lead with 400 to go, and, and never looked back. So, what does this tell you about how ready you are for USA? So, I got fourth last year, and I know I wasn't in as good shape as I am this year. This should give me enough points. So the good thing is I don't need the time, and my mindset is if I make Budapest, I'll get the time there. So I'm ready. Uh, you know, I ran a 147.4 in very windy conditions, and it felt really easy. And I know that I can compete with anyone. I know Nagoose, Hobbs Kessler, Cole Hawker are really good runners. And every day of practice, I just use them as inspiration. And I tell myself every day, I'm as good as anyone in this country, and I can run with anyone. And if there's anything I can control, is is that I'm not going to be intimidated by no one. You've so. raced many times at Icon. Is this your first win? This is, uh, I believe, my second one. That's the biggest for sure. This is, yeah, this is one of my biggest wins alongside NICAC last year. So I was really happy about it. I truly believe that I'm in the best shape of my life and come USA's even though my times aren't as fast as some runners I'm gonna run with the utmost confidence and I believe I can compete with anyone.